As Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today uh, we're going to start our macro running. We're going to get it going for the Transcendence fight here tonight. Uh, I made sure I got all my heroes. We kind of talk about the event a little bit as well, so if you're kind of interested in our take and maybe some questions about the event, we do cover them as well. We'll have a full event video tomorrow, though, but I did want to make sure we got this Transcendence fight thing going right out of the gate. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you haven't done it just yet and you appreciate it, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. I'm going to put my code, my ID that you need to add down in the description. Um, that's what you're going to use to apply. I didn't show it in the video, so definitely I'm going to put it the first thing in the description down below. I'll probably put it in a comment as well just to make sure everybody sees it. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys get some good rewards. We're going to have some CD keys tomorrow that you guys can cash in, and I'll see you guys next time. So it is time for the transcendence. Wait, what is it? Uh, transcendence fight once again. Now, this time there are what? Mystic Fairy, Freya, Star Swordsman, Mockman, Lord of Death, Azrael, Blood Tide, Queen Arania, and Doom Terminator Vulcan. Um, of course, this one right here you can only get if you own the new hero. And then this one here. You have to have all the heroes up here. So essentially, I'm going to be putting the team of these six up on our squad here. You need these six, which are the weirdest and probably the least likely ones for you guys to own. Asmo, Eos, Holmes Young is good, but it's usually more of a PvP or like more of a whale target. Uh, so yeah, it's the six newest heroes is what we're going to do. But I need to make sure my lineup is set up properly here. Um, we need to have, of course, you, 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 you. Did I do that right? I think that's right, right? Feels weird to see heroes that are like not even voided nowadays because, yeah, we haven't done much with these heroes. I think, no, I think one of these wrong. Freya. Mystic Fairy Freya out and Azrael in. Is that the... No, no. Aspen. Aspen comes out. Freya goes in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? That looks correct now. We'll even set our core just for some fun shenanigans. Um. Okay. So... That's going to be set. We're going to set up our macro here shortly, and I guess we'll start running it overnight tonight. So what I'm going to do, guys, for those of you on the live stream here, is when the stream ends, I will probably just be slapping this right up on youtube to let people know that they can already start accepting me of course you have to be on android i really wish with the change of the auction house and everything that you would be able to add people cross faction now not cross faction cross platform too many mmos in my life guys i just think of faction wars all the time um yeah, and the one other thing we're going to do is pro yeah, electricity rip. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're going to not run these until the very end. Uh, one thing I know a lot of people have been talking about with this event is the whole lucky number part. You can obtain a lucky number at random when you open a Jade Rabbit bag. So you get that number. It looks like a red number on your bag when you hit it. Also, a lucky number will be revealed daily in the event starting on January 22nd. So that's not for what? One, two, three more days. And then it'll run from the 22nd to the 28th. Every day will have a different number. The way this reads is during the event, if your lucky number obtained from the Jade Rabbit bag and the lucky number revealed on any of the days are the same, you will get bonus rewards of the amount of three times basic rewards of what you obtained in that bag. The way I read that is, is you basically, I'll show you guys what it looks like on our first server here because we just did some testing. We looked at it. When you get your fortunes, you'll see these Jade Rabbit bags have different numbers. They're all red. And I think what will happen is if one of those seven days manages to hit these numbers, no matter when you pull these Jade Rabbit bags, they'll turn green and then you'll get a triple. Like imagine getting six cores. That would be awesome. Um, that's what I'm assuming, and that's the way it reads. Those guys, everybody in chat kind of feels the same way. I think me personally, I'm just going to keep storing the bags up until the 22nd just to play it safe, but it's definitely going to be the way to do it. Now, besides the transcendence fight of this event, uh, I just don't think it's that good. Uh, the Temple Fair could be cool. 
there's going to be a lot of RNG if you're going to try to get your sublimation chest through the lantern event. Because, of course, you need to fill complete rows up to get the festival ingots. But if you do the math, to get five of them, it's like one per technically, which is not that bad. I think the safe route for most people to do is the lion dance over here. Because it's just 150 and you get enough of them. Uh, yeah, because they're not using present or past tense, so it's not 100% sure. Yeah, it definitely. I, I would I would just play this one by ear. I would not go in too quick on it. Just be safe. And then, of course, everybody should be going for this guy right here. 90,000 sublimation is two points in any branch. Uh, this is the this is key getting 30 points and you are guaranteed to get it if you do a couple things of course get the heroic summons going um, do the five stars and then this part you can just awaken 10 of any hero those 10 do not count in towards the soul awakening gala if you're not doing them on Elena but again it kind of is what it is I do think the relay is a very very good one to go for like it really is oh I should have just done Oh, you guys, you guys on YouTube are going to find out I should have just bought the relay already and I would have had the scrolls I needed. Oh my God, I didn't realize there were scrolls in here. Anyway, the very good rewards because you're getting spring festival bags to, oh, you even wrote in chat. I know when I, when I just start summoning, I just, sometimes I turn the brain off and the brain's not really on in the first place. The 30,000 artifact essence is awesome because that's another artifact. I don't know. You guys in chat, let me know what you guys think too. I don't think this is a great event, to be honest. Like, there's nothing even special about this. This is literally just bone stock, a normal Transcendence hero release, right? Like, if you do this and this, that's a total of what? 30 and 20, so that's 50. Uh, so you still need to do a thousand heroic summons. Or you can do no heroic summons and do all the VIP experience from the relay and you essentially still get the sublimation chest. So for 100 bucks, you can get a sublimation chest and do pretty much nothing else on this event. I don't know. I don't know. How do I get exchange permits for Starry Gems? Uh, so if you're a spender, you can actually contact the, the, like the support team and ask them to raise your Starry Gem limit if you're on an established whale account. Get it up to like level 20 and then you can do a ton of conversions per day. I think I was at like 18 and then I bumped it up to like 20 through support and you're able to convert a ton of them. I know we're kind of going on tangents here, but <laughs> overall we're going to get the transcendence fight going. Nope, not that one. We're going to get this one going and let's just double check all of our heroes. <laughs>